Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here, and you can definitely tell this is not any of the series I've done before. Well, first of all, everything's green, which is a very, very pleasant surprise. And actually what this is, is I've been working on a custom mod pack. So there's a little bit of a hype for that. I've um, actually been working on it for a couple of months now, so I'm like really needing to get off my butt and finish it. Uh, let's see, what all do we have in here? A um, bunch of decent stuff. It is a questing pack, so... And I do have fluid cows. Uh, there's a mod called Move Fluid, or Move Fluids, where you can, uh, uh, cows will spawn in and you can get different fluids from them that are, and it automatically generates any fluids that are present in other mods and whatnot. Like this guy's got chocolate milk from MFR, I believe it is. Oh, hey, look, gardens. So, um, yeah, custom mod pack. Uh, the first person, actually, I think that might be playing this, well, besides me, if I do a test video here or there, and, well, this video doesn't really count, uh, is going to be Drek. Uh, he's going to use this as a triumphant return to uh, recording, finally. So I kind of pressured him into it, so. So it's a pretty basic pack. I mean, it's nothing overly complicated. There's no weird ways of doing things. Everything's explained in the quest book. And Pam's Mob Drop Crops. That is a rotten flesh plant. But you can actually get the uh, seeds for and everything. Here we go. Pretty nice, huh? You can actually do this entire pack, I believe, in peaceful mode. I don't think I've set up any kill quests or anything like that. So if you want to do peaceful, you can do peaceful. Nice, relaxing, slow. I'm also working actually on the second pack, which... This one has a bunch of mods in it, and it's like, okay, well, this is how... Or this is so you can get used to them, you know, how they'll work. The next pack is going to be, um, yeah, a lot more difficult. A lot more difficult, actually. Uh, let's see. So, in this pack, we have, you can tell, Pam's Harvest Craft. We have the bushes and stuff. And pretty much I have almost every one of Pam's mods in here. There's even one called Need More Sticks. Which, uh, let's see. Sticks. Oh no, not sticks. Stick. Just no S. Alright, so yeah, my recipe for that. Two planks there, or you can get twigs from Steve's cart. Hooray there. Shapeless crafting, you get sugar cane, bones, fishing rods, an unused fishing rod you can actually get the sticks back out of. Any sapling, I'll give you one. Uh, carrot and stick. Bows will get you sticks back. Torches. You can actually multiply sticks at the cost of coal using torches. Uh, same with arrows using flint and feathers. Redstone torches. Levers. Fences and ladders will give you your sticks back as well. Uh, same with a sign. So if you want the stick back, you can do it this way. If you want the planks back, run it through a uh, terminal expansion sawmill. Uh, paintings. Item frames. Wooden tools. I mean all the tools to get your sticks back. Crop sticks will give you one to one. Yeah, it's kinda cool. Um, <laughs> you can get them from witches as well. Yeah, that is one of the things I had in is... Oh, I forgot which one exactly it is, but it's... NEI integration, I think, is what does it. But it'll let you see uh, what mobs drop. Now, let's see here. What mods do I have in here, actually? Alright, mods. I have Agricraft. A lot of fun there, right? Ancient Trees. Applied Energy 2. Aquaculture. I don't think I've ever actually seen anybody playing with Aquaculture, so I had to try it out, and it, it's actually kind of... It's a lot of fun. If you like fishing, it's fun. And it makes it so you're not seriously grinding it out over and over and over again to fish. Auto Packager, because of course. Bobbles. Uh, there's a few bobbles in here. Miner's Ring. Um... That comes bundled with the mod. Mainly it's so that, like, say, if you decide to go the extra utilities route and get the uh, angel ring, you don't have to keep it in your inventory. You can put it in your bubble slot, forget about it, and just use it. Uh, build craft. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave build craft in or not. I really haven't, like, done any quests for it or anything like that. But it is a good, you know, it's the old standby. 
Actually, I do have a couple of buildcraft items in quest, so if you don't want to change this, I'll leave it in. Uh, it's one of those you can use it if you want to. You don't have to, for the most part. Ah, dang it. Uh, let's see. Bibliocraft. Bookcases and everything else, and just a lot of fun decorative items. All right? I mean, for God's sakes, there's a typewriter up here, right? Yeah, typewriters. Printing press. Sword pedestal. Fancy signs. Fancy workbench. Desk bell. I mean... Just little things that are fun. Big reactors, because, well, why not? Huge amounts of power, let's do it. All right, there's the actual build craft base mod, then you have all the modules, builders, energy, factory, robotics, silicon, and transport. Uh, in Buildcraft 7 and up, I believe it is, they broke the mod apart into several subsections, so you can install what you want to, and you don't have to have all of it. Uh, catwalks. Fun little mod, I actually really like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's a great way for moving point A to point B without having to set up a whole bunch of stuff. Chicken chunks, trunk loaders. I figured I already have NEI, which is made by Chicken Bones, by the way. So why not add in chicken chunks? As well as Ender Storage, also by Chicken Bones. Awesome mod pack creator. I'm waiting for him to do 1.8 stuff. Uh, chisel. What is. Alright. What's the broken texture here? Oh, aluminum stairs. Yes, I don't have anything that produces aluminum in this pack. So, bit of a spoiler, there's no tinkers. Uh, cooking for blockheads, because it's fun. Ender IO, because why not? I mean, it's a fun little tech mod, and I love the conduits. Not enough said there, right? Dark steel tools are awesome as well. It's just a lot of fun to play with. Let's see, Ender Storage. Color coded Ender Chest, Ender Pouch, Ender Tank, Ender Tech. This is like high tier thermal expansion stuff. Uh, charge pads, uh, health pads, you can heal yourself up with those things. Exchangers, use while sneaking to choose source, and if you right click on it, right click on a block, it'll. Basically, it's a wand of exchange from Thomcraft. Right click on a block, puts a block in your inventory, takes whatever you were going to put in there into the world. I don't even think it causes a block update actually, so it's kinda kinda useful. Ah, dang it, it did it again. Alright, X Nihilo and X Asterisk. Uh if you want generation or I mean well first of all it adds kinda of cool things like a crook, which is great for extra saplings. I'm not gonna say no. Silk worms if you need string, there you go. Easy way to do it. And also if you want lots of materials and don't want to leave big gaping holes in your world from quarries these two are the way to go. Not to mention, I mean, you can make soul sand without having to go to the nether. You can make as much as you want. You know, it's pretty nice. Extra utilities. I don't think I'm ever going to make a pack that does not have extra utilities in it. It's just too damn useful. Extra biomes XL. Why is this in here? Um, eh, a lot of flowers and stuff are decorative, but mainly different woods. I like having extra woods to build with, so and so forth. I mean, it's great. I like options. If I don't have options, I feel constrained. I mean, you can even make custom doors, which is great. Not many mods add doors. And you can make chocolate, and so on and so forth, right? Scarecrows are kind of fun. But that, it does add world generation, which you can use if you want to. Um, but mainly, it's going to be nighttime, isn't it? Okay. Make sure I don't have to worry about something trying to eat me while I'm showing off. Flood, uh, floodlights. I did play Galactic Science, actually. Rather enjoyed it. I thought about recording it, decided not to. Uh, main reason is there's a lot of people out there who have done it already. It is, I think, got updated relatively recently, too. I'm really not all that fond of the Galactic Craft, which is why you don't see it in here. I did like the Floodlights mod that was in there, though. These things are awesome. Uh, floodlights. Like the UV Floodlight, I believe... You can't see it, but it'll damage any enemies that come into that area. Like, the sun is up, so a zombie skeleton's burn up, so on and so forth. Square fluorescent light, small fluorescent light, non-electric floodlight, electric floodlight. These just, I mean, insane amounts of light come out of these things. Directional. I mean, it's they mainly aim in one direction, but you can light up 40 blocks away. I mean, it's great. If you have a big room you want to light up, this is the way to go. Uh, different filaments, bulbs, mantle, so on and so forth. 
Uh, forge microblocks, because, well, why not? Ah, man, I really... This is one thing I wish I could change, but I can't. Uh, let's see, HQO mode. Iron chest. Good old standby, works great, doesn't have any issues. Better storage options. It, it's all about the storage, right? Machine uses modular power suits. Now, this is something I used to play with a lot back in like one four oh not so much one four seven but one five packs. I loved the power suits mod and it has just gotten better. And a little less buggy, which is great. And options and yeah, it's I love it. Now magical crops. This is our other option for getting materials in the world. You can do regular mining. I put X and ILO in here so you can do that, you know, the sifting. Or you can go the crop route and you can actually grow things you want. Other than magical crops, this is pretty much a tech pack. Okay. It it's a lot easier to put tech packs together. There's less unintended interactions and so on and so forth, and yeah, it's a lot easier just in general, just to do for mod packs. And it lets you, things work together better as well. But we have magical crops, so you can pretty much grow any ore you want, and, and so on and so forth. It's great. So you get choices. You know, I'm not going to shoehorn you into, you must do this. So, magical crops decorative. More blocks. Why not, right? Uh, vanilla Minecraft. Yeah, I kind of stuck with that, aren't I? Mine Factory Reloaded. Automatic Farms. That's it. This... You want automated farms? Mine Factory Reloaded. Can't go wrong. Uh, let's see. You want automatic mob farm? Grinders. Alright. You want to farm only one enemy? Spawners. Alright. And it's really easy to configure. It's a whole lot cheaper than the Ender IO spawners are. The power spawner from there. And uh, conveyor belts, moving you know entities around. It's, you can have a lot of fun with it. Uh, tree farming. You know you got the harvester, which also do regular farming. You get the planter. You can replant things automatically, so on and so forth. Uh, you can breed your animals. You can then separate them by the age, and then you can kill the adults or you can kill the babies after they grow up, but leaving your original breeding pair alone. Uh, this is the things that you can do with this mod. This mod is amazing. Uh, no nether needed. In case you don't want to go to the nether, does basically two things. First thing, quartz generates in the overworld. All right, nether quartz, you can find it in the overworld now. And then there's also the nether gate. This will let you do things like craft netherrack out of cobblestone. And you, anything you can get from the nether, you can craft through the nether gate. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So you don't have to go through a portal if you ever don't ever want to. Uh, this thing's got 50 uses. You have to re, you know, craft it occasionally. It's not a big deal, but it's just fun, you know. Open blocks. Be lying if I said the main reason to include this was graves. I, I do like the graves function. Elevators are awesome too. Ooh, rotating elevators. Uh, let's see, healer. Eh, that's a creative item. The tanks are great. I mean, they're not the best, but they're not bad at all. Trophies are freaking fun to get, that's for sure. The magical pencils and crayons, I've used them a little bit, and they're, they're kind of fun. Auto enchantment table, auto anvil, path, XP storage, rope ladders. I, this is a hodgepodge of different things that are just fun and useful and should be like hang gliders. They finally added something that functions like a hang glider and 1.9 in Minecraft. Open blocks has been around for, what, two years now? So, uh, let's see, yeah, stencil blocks, the luggage, some spiffy glasses, sleeping bags, you can sleep anywhere without resetting your spawn point, which is amazing, sponge, pedometer, so you can see how far you've walked, point A to point B, how far away is it, <clears throat> Pam's Harvest Craft, I think we pretty much all know and love this, if you haven't, you have not been watching my videos, this is how you get your food. Pam's Mob Drop Crops. Oops. Alright. Uh, let's see. Blaze Flower, Bone Pile, Ender Pestle, Eye Bush, Rotten Mount. And then you get your Tear Chalice and so on and so forth. I mean, Creeper Pod, Slime Puddles. And then you got your seeds for these things, right? 
Now, to make like a creeper pod, it is a wheat seed plus a gunpowder. Uh, you want to make the rotten bush or whatever it's called, a zombie flesh plus a wheat seed. It, they're stupid easy to make, they grow relatively easy, and if you want an insane amount of mob drops like enderpearls, get one enderpearl, do a seed, and bone meal the ever living bejesus out of it. <laughs> you will end up with interpulse for days. Right? And the cool thing is, you bone seeds. You can actually grow your own bone meal. Uh, randomite. It, all this does is add two ores in. And when they're broken, they drop various vanilla ores and gems and whatnot. Uh, I've gotten pretty much anything vanilla. I've got an iron, gold, diamond, emerald, lapis, redstone. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Especially if you're not in extreme hills and you want an emerald. Randomite. It's got you covered. Redstone Arsenal. Um, this used to be bundled in, I believe, with a... Or no, was it? Yeah, I guess it was always Redstone Arsenal, wasn't it? But uh, thermal expansion, powered armor, and so on and so forth, right? I mean, this is high-end game, you know, tier weaponry. Flux-infused fishing rod, for God's sakes, right? The flux bow, the sickle, I mean... Yeah, it's these things are extremely powerful tools. Plus, you can enchant them and so on and so forth. And yeah, it's it's expensive. It's all using flux to electrum, so a bunch of silver, a bunch of gold, a bunch of redstone, and you need the flux crystals, which is diamond. But by the time you get around to make it, you're gonna have plenty of that stuff, right? RF drills. Remember back in the good old days when everybody had industrial craft and you had your drill and you had your chainsaw and that was your the best thing ever, and then people quit using industrial craft because, well, the RF power system was better, it was more functional, and yada yada yada, people preferred it, and so the drills went away. No, RF drills. Oops. We have our drills again. We have tiers and tiers of drills. We have therm or, uh, we got thermal expansion ones, and we have Ender IO based ones, like Dark Solarium Crushers. Uh, let's see. Empowered 2. Beast Mode 2 allows for 5x5x5 five by five by five mining and tilling, okay? A 5-block cube. Gone. Smack. Uh, a fork. Who needs a hoe when you have a fork? So it also acts as a hoe. I mean, this is like your all-in-one tool. Uh, let's see now. Simply jetpacks. Because I have RF, so why not have a way to fly? And also you have, you know, your resonant flux packs, or your, your flux packs, and... So on and so forth, right? So you can charge your tools. You can even get creative flex packs if you want to cheat. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can fly or you can charge anything that uses RF, you know, from your backpack pretty much. Uh, let's see. Solar flux. Solar panels. Free power. This is a good mid-game solution. Actually, even early game because these things are pretty cheap to make. Steve's cards too because this is fun. I... I'm not sure if people play with Steve's cards or not. Um, other mods will pretty much do everything that it can, so you don't... You know, it's like, you can do an awesome tree farm with Steve's cards. Well, you can do the same thing with MFR. Uh, you can set up Steve's cards to be a mining thing. You know, quarries. This is a little more fun, and it's got a little more style to it, right? And you get to custom make your carts, and get them to do exactly what you want, and so on and so forth. And actually, I believe Steve's Carts is made by uh, CPW, one of the makers of Forge. Switch is continued. Basic little mod adds three things. More, uh, more aesthetically pleasing, basically a lever. All right, that's pretty much what it exactly is, but it looks better. Spice of life, because well, I can't make it too easy on anybody. Thermal dynamics, right? And we got the thermal mods, thermal expansion, and thermal foundation. All right, foundation adds, well, as you can see here, the ores, the armors, the gears, uh, the fluids. Right, so you need foundation to run the other ones. Dynamics is pretty much like the pipes and the servos, right? Expansions, the machines, and the upgrades for the machines. Uh, the things you need for the machines, like the hammer, the voltometer, uh, fluovax, which are kind of fun. Uh, let's see, you know, the different capacitors, the satchels, the florbs. Forbes used to be separate. I guess they're bundled now. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, that's 
Did I talk all the way through the night? I did. Wow. So that is the mod list and the reasons why I've included what I have. Oh, look. Oxide Davies, Daisies. Um, let's see what else is there. Like I said, there is a quest line. Or a questing book. It's 90% done. Oops. Don't right click with that. Oh, hello. Yes. If you right click to pick up a bush, whatever is in your hand is going to right click on the ground. If it's a book, you're going to open the book. So, kind of liking the world generation so far. Um, extra biomes. Oh, hello. What kind of cow are you? You are an essence? No, nutrient distillation. Cool. Yeah. You can breed the cows together as well. And, like, if I had tinkers installed, you could breed an iron cow plus what, a ferris cow, and you would get an invar cow. <laughs> However, without tinkers, there's a lot less fluids in the registry. So they're going to spawn, you know, just your basic fluids. They're not going to be doing the molten metal stuff. Which is probably a good thing, because without tinkers, there's really no way to cast metal. <laughs> Something I, uh, I really wish wasn't the case, but yeah, see, here's our randomite. And I believe that I'm going to need, I think it's diamond level to get this stuff. But there are other options you can, that'll mine at diamond level without having to get actual diamonds. Yep. Great. So we got some redstone, we got some iron, gold, lapis, and coal out of that, right? One block got us all that. I mean, that's what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks worth of material. We have build craft oil. Because, well, why not? I wish it wouldn't spawn like that all the time, but yeah. Like a kind of giant geyser of oil. Uh, extra utilities makes it, or not extra utilities, extra biomes. Um, makes it so you can have villages spawn in any biome. So you're going to find villages everywhere. Not necessarily a bad thing, right? You want to set up next to a village? You can. Ooh, fluid cow for essence. Uh, you basically, you have a 50-50 shot of it being a regular cow or a fluid cow. The good news is... Like Spike from World Generation. I'm flying. It's not happy. So yeah, regular cows. You get a 50-50 shot of getting a regular cow or a fluid cow. So you can have a regular cow farm, and I also... It's kind of nice that, uh... The, um... Blah, words. Uh, you kill a fluid cow, you still get the beef, you still get leather. So you can run a regular cow farm out of your fluid cows instead. Uh, let's see. There's also Doom-like dungeons in this mod pack, which is one of the reasons why it's a little iffy sometimes when it comes to uh, world generation. Uh, Doom-like dungeons. A lot of fun. Good luck finding them sometimes, though. The best way to find them is to explore it in a single line, a single direction. Don't deviate left or right too much. And check your log. The server log. And it'll tell you when it's generating... What are you? Nutrient distillation again. Uh, yeah, it'll tell you when it's generating a Doom-like dungeon. And then you have you no know, roughly what area to search. So, it's the best way I've found to find them so far. The, the mod doesn't add anything to help you find them. And I have set it so that there should be above ground structures above them all, but sometimes terrain generation still overwrites those structures, so you're kind of. kind of, sort of, SOL. Yeah, this is, I believe, an extra biomes meadow. Yeah. Cool. I was kind of hoping to find, like, a village or something else in the meantime, but. Oh, well. It's really not to be, apparently. Alright, and... Is that a meteor up ahead? I believe it is. Yeah, that is a meteor from Applied Energistics. You want an AE system? You're going to have to be looking for these guys. Uh, they're not too rare, and thank god they all pretty much spawn on the surface. But this is one of the reasons for the lag. Is it generated the world, and then Applied Energistics goes, No, I want to generate here. So it had to redo all of this. And we got some sheep. The sheep aren't anything special. 
Yeah, I guess you can get button from them, though. Uh, okay, let's see. Quest book, though. No description yet. No logo. Anybody wants to actually, like, make a logo or something for this? Have fun. Just shoot me a link on Twitter or something like that. Uh, works out, and it fits right, then I'll throw it in here and give you credit. So, any artist out there, I got a job for you. Uh, let's see, so far we had 102 quests, right? In total. 205 quests, including invisible ones. This is the latest stable version of uh, HQM. So you actually have better access to things. And yes, there's actually a quest line called Oh God, Why? I'm evil. Deal with it. But like, this is the edit mode here, so you get to see all the quests and everything. But this is, you know, your first chapter, you know. Like, oh, look. You know, it's punching trees at Sobel. I'll say, let's get the show on the road the proper way. Turn in a piece of dirt. I'm going to give you an invar axe and some oak wood, just to save a little bit of time in the beginning. Uh, storage battle. You know, you got your chest and stuff. Lumberjack time. Get a bunch of wood for me and stuff, and give you saplings and whatnot. Power underwhelming. All the different power things you can use. I mean, zombie power, combustion generators, sterling generators. We have... <clears throat> Okay, you need furnaces to start off with, right? Not a problem. But then you get, uh, this is the Ender IO stuff here. Uh, we got Buildcraft. Buildcraft again. Solar panels. And then solar ex-utilities. Uh, MFR power supply. The dynamos from thermal expansion. Power storage. We got the Ender IO stuff here. And then moving on to big reactors, right? Steve's carts, plenty of things. You're going to hate me by the time you get to the end of this. Just saying. Uh, kitchen nightmares. I have PAMS. I'm going to make you use it. Applied energistics. Um, I may just leave it like this. This is your, enough to get a basic AE system going, and I don't think I could write a good tutorial in a quest book on how to advance in AE. Fancy tools. Uh, this is one of the quests I'm working on still. Quest lines. Uh, chainsaws, drills, so on and so forth. Machine Heaven and Hell. Um, basically just making the different processing machines and then using them. Power armors included. Agricultural fun. I have no idea where to go from here. Uh, this is going to be the Magical Farms quest line, and I need to play with Magical Farm or Magical Crops more. Uh, vanilla Madness. Making vanilla stuff, because, well, why not? Uh, Meltdown Impossible. This is for... Oh, what is it? Big Reactors. And I can add another 80 quests, I think, before it starts complaining at me. So, I mean, I can fill this up. Oh God, why? By the time you hit this, you're going to hate me. You are so going to hate me. <laughs> By the time you get that one done, anyway. But, one thing I am going to say, there's a hint. Ooh, strawberries. Uh, whenever you... Uh, First, get your quest book, right? Open it up and look through everything available before you start turning things in. All right, that is a hint. There are quests that will go away if you don't pay attention. And you don't want to be stuck there at the end of the going, okay, well, why is this only 85% complete? Well, you need to pay attention. Pink slime cow, huh? Cool. Pink slime cow, that could be fun. Pink slimes. Not bad. Uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. So, um, expect to see a video from Drek soon, and I might actually do some videos as well, but I won't be doing the questing part nearly as much. I'm not even going to showcase that. I'm just going to be building on this world and having fun and doing whatever I want. Probably not this world. I might make a new one up too. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, there's a couple of mods that I know I didn't quite mention and actually if you're patient I will... Alright, so... <clears throat> The complete list of mods is looking at the actual folder holding the Minecraft mods. We have uh, B Speakers Core, 
Code Chicken Library, Commons Codec, Commons Compress, Forge Multipart, Utilib. I need that for, it's just a library for a different mod. Uh, tree Capitator, Agricraft, Ancient Trees, Apple Core. You need that for PAMS and for Hunger Overhaul. Not so much for PAMS, but definitely for Hunger Overhaul. And for Spice of Life. Python Energy 6.2, Aquaculture, Auto Packager, Bobbles. Uh, Bibliocraft. Uh, big Reactors, Build Craft, Catwalks Mod, Chicken Chunks, The Chunk Loader, Chisel, Decorative Blocks, Code Chicken Core, which I need for Chicken Chunks and Inner Storage, uh, COFH Core and Library, Cookie Core, uh, Cooking Book, Doom Like Dungeons, Ender Core, Ender IO, Ender Storage, Ender Tech, Ender Zoo, Special Mobs from there. Uh, let's see. X Asterisk, X Nihilo, Extra Biomes XL, Extra Utilities. Fastcraft is in here. Alright. That is a thing. Fast Leaf DK plus Tree Capitator. It does actually help a lot to eliminate block lag. Uh, floodlights. Rotten fesh, uh, Flesh to Leather. So you can cook your zombie meat and get leather that way out of it. It's actually possible to live an entire existence in this mod pack without killing a single thing. But where's the fun in that, right? Uh, let's see. HQM, Hunger Overhaul, NPR Core. Uh, it helps a ton. Because otherwise, like Chisel especially adds in so many different blocks and whatnot that it... You open up your inventory, NEI takes like three seconds to respond. So, unless you've got a, a supercomputer. Well, a lot better than mine anyway. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch -ch. Inventory Tweaks. That's just a uh, control thing. Most people don't even realize it's in 90% of the packs out there. Iron chest. Uh, core sample. Magical crops. Magical crops armory. Magical crops deco. McJD's library. Uh, MFR. Mine factory reloaded. Modular power suits. Move fluids. That's the fluid cow ones. NEI add-ons. NEI integration. No nether needed. Not enough items. Not enough resources. Both of them help a lot. Uh, Numina. Ocean floor, yes. That it, I didn't really get to the ocean, so I can show you. Uh, normally, you get to the deep ocean biomes, and it's just 100% gravel. Now, nah, this actually makes it so that it's not quite so boring, right? Open blocks, open mods library. Pams, get all the seeds. Yes, if you want seeds, till the ground, till grass. Seeds will pop out. I'm not going to make it hard for you guys to be able to grow food. Uh, Pams harvest craft. Pam's mob drop crops. Pam's need more sticks. Randomite. Redstone arsenal. Uh, resource loader. RF drills. Simply jetpacks. Solar flux. Sound filters. Sound filters are fun. They uh, change the sounds depending on the local environment. Like if you're down in a cave, you'll hear a little bit of an echo. If you're hearing monsters through a wall, it actually sounds muffled. Uh, Spice of life. Steve's carts too. Switches uh, continued. Showed that off. Thermal Dynamics, Thermal Expansion, Thermal Foundation. Now I also have, <coughs> excuse me, Wayla, Wayla Harvestable, or Harvestability, Wayla Plugins, and What Are We Looking At? W-A-W-L-A. As opposed to What Am I Looking At, which is Wayla. And then, of course, Zero's Minimap, because, well, it is so much nicer to your frames than Journey Map is. I mean, it really, really, really is. Oh look, Mushroom Garden. So also, uh, if you have any like quests that you want to see, like I said, I've got room for more quests. You want to see any quests in this? Comment. Let me know. Oops, I'm in creative mode. That didn't work. You know, it's just... I'm thinking about adding a quest in where you can get a peaceful table. I mean... <laughs> Excuse me. So that way you know, I mean, you don't actually have to deal with zombies or anything. So why bother, right? Unless, you know, you like a challenge. Certus Quartz Ore. Nice. And I'm also kind of planning a little bit, make sure generation's working, checking out different ores and things. Uh, actually, the ocean's out here, right? Question is, this is going to be deep ocean. Uh, F3, ocean... Ocean, ocean. Eh, it may work. Uh, let's see. Brewing. Let's get rid of that. Let's give us this. 
No, it's not deep ocean. It didn't do it. But you can see how, like, sand, 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 then down to that Y level there. And then from that point on, it's just all gravel. That's what that one mod is supposed to fix. I've not actually really ever looked into if it's working or not. But I don't think this is actually deep enough for it to work. Or so. I don't know. Doesn't really look like it, though. Hmm. So I may go ahead and just remove that mod because it doesn't seem to be doing anything. At least not what it's supposed to be doing. Let's see. And my, another thing is, my server said that a, a Doom-like dungeon spawned around here. I was going to see if I could find it and show it off. But if you're looking for the dungeons, which I would recommend looking for, even if you're on Peaceful, they have a lot of good stuff in them. But uh, <clears throat> don't look around the ocean because they have a tendency to spawn what's called continental shelf dungeons which is an extremely camouflaged opening 20 blocks under the water oh, it's annoying to find so let's see yep exploring while recording not exactly the best idea oh crap I've got some stuff open in the background still too whoops see ya Choppy, that's my fault, so. I uh, see any mods you want added. I'm um, open to suggestions, however, um, I'm not adding tinkers. Uh, main reason is, is every pack under the sun has tinkers, and it has had twink uh, tinkers, yeah, twinkers, tinkers for forever. Oh yes, here's the creeper pods. These things actually grow like melons, which is kind of cute. Hey, yep, break it, drop gunpowder. Uh, the one thing I do miss from Tinkers is uh, the Traveler's gear, but you can get around that. And I have a feeling I have rambled on more than long enough. So I am going to go ahead and stop here. I may generate a new world real quick. And that I can do a kind of an LP in, just kind of messing around, building stuff. A fun, relaxed world, but also one where I can go, okay, well, this quest would make sense here. And I've, like I said, I've, I've got a few quests left to make, but I need a, a magical crops and all that fun stuff. So, but I am going to go ahead and sign out now. Um, hope you guys are excited to see this. Uh, it's going to be coming out regardless, but. Really, it'd be awesome if you guys would play it. Check it out. I said it's not quite out yet. Uh, Drek's gonna be my beta tester, and it's still it's still early alpha, late early alpha, but still alpha. So look for it. Maybe I want to say halfway through May at the latest. I do want to get this out before most of the mods out there update to 1.8. Not many mods have really you know, in comparison to what 1.7 has. So, 1.7 pack is still viable. But if I wait too long, then I'm going to have to update the entire pack to 1.8, it's going to break a bunch of things, and i got to go through it. It's just going to be a hassle. So, yep, uh, look for it by the middle of May. We should be ready to go. And until next time, this is Science signing out. Have fun.